So, uh, I don't know, a few videos ago I told you how I was going to build a corral up here this year. When I moved in, first thing I did was put pasture in so I could move my cows up from my old farm up to here. And uh, I never put in a proper corral or anything like that to get them on and off a truck. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, my friend Kevin donated all these locust posts from some pasture that he ripped out. So thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that. That saved me a lot of time and effort cutting some of my own locust. Um, so what I did was I got the auger on the, on the Kubota down there. And I went up through and I dug a bunch of holes. Um, the best I could. It's extremely rocky up here, um, but we did what we could. So some of these are three feet deep, some of them are two feet deep, and there's a couple that are maybe like a foot deep because I just hit rock and uh, spun and spun and spun and got nowhere, got the breaker bar out, couldn't bust it up, and uh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. So um, I went through, put in the deepest holes I could. If I hit something, I'd move over till I found a little bit better spot, but it's just, I mean, you see what, Kind of stuff comes up out of these holes up here so it's pretty bad um anyway i got this uh one or two by six by eight hemlock um so i'm gonna start putting that up i got my story pole over here so i'm gonna go through mark all my heights where my uh where my crossbars are gonna go and um let's get started
this is kind of what it looks like so far come along good um, I've only got one nail and all these boards I'm gonna go back through I'm gonna actually lag the joints where they overlap into the locust posts with a leg and a big washer and that'll shore everything up that way then I'm also gonna put ver vertical um, bracing in so that you know when they brush up against these their force is distributed across all four rather than just one if it was just one they'd be breaking these left and right I believe and uh, what else I'm gonna put a gate across here so I want to put a post here I think so that I got 10 foot here that way once I get a group down here if I don't have or if I have more than what I want on the trailer I can kind of segregate them with this gate um, and the other thing I'm gonna do is bring the corral this way so that when my buddy Adam backs up with his trailer he can have a square um, basically a square face that he can back up to and we can open his gate up hit this post and then uh, the kettle just kind of naturally come right down and into the trailer so that's the idea got to get a post in here like I said it's tough digging so um, hopefully we can get one kind of where we need it Most of those did not dig that easy, not even close. So I'll get the clamshell diggers out, clean that up, and it'll be ready for a post. inches 
all they got, I guess, for what it is. Looks good, guys. section just because when I get them closed in here this is where they're gonna try to start getting crazy um, now my cows are fairly docile so hopefully they won't get too crazy but um, it's just an extra kind of height barrier they see that and hopefully don't try to jump over the fence
So here's the finished project and uh, I think it turned out all right. We'll find out um, when I start loading cattle again. But uh, cattle be out here normally. I'll feed them in here regularly so they're used to going in there. Um, when I want to get them in there to get them on a trailer, I'll open these gates wide open. It'd be like a chute and then all I got to do is walk up and kind of just very slowly behind them and they'll walk right in there. They'll have no issue with that. And then uh, I'll close these gates behind me, block this whole area off. This is plenty big in here for as big a herd as I'm gonna have and they're not gonna feel um, nervous or cramped, I don't think. So uh, hopefully they'll come down, they'll walk right on the trailer. Um, but obviously I wanna segregate some of them. So that's why I built this pen down here this will be set up so that I can get the ones on that I want and the, keep the ones off that I don't want, kick them back out into here. So, um, you know, I'll push them down into here. I'll close this gate behind me. And then they'll be all in here. Um, I can kind of segregate them as I go, I can kick some back out into there if I want. And then once I have all the ones in here that I want, we'll try pushing them onto the trailer. The trailer will be backed right up to here. Um, the rear of the trailer will be right up against this fence post. The door swings open this way. It'll hit this post right here so they can't get back out into there. This whole area is blocked off. And then in here, if there are some cows still out here that I don't want on the trailer or whatever and don't want to get out, this gate will close right up against the trailer um so nothing's getting out that way once i get the cows in here that i want take this gate just kind of use it to push them on come on come on hopefully you hop right on the trailer um that's the idea and then we can slam the slam the gate shut so uh i guess we'll see how it works the other thing I did this for, so now I've got this little area down here where it's fully enclosed. If I want to separate a cow to work on her or because she's sick or, you know, if there's a calf that I want to separate and uh, try to put a band on, I can do that. So I've got this little area down here that I can keep them kind of segregated or I could feed one out probably in here. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I think it's going to work good. It's going to work a whole lot better than what I had, which was really just these gates um, put together in a corral out here and then we'd back up to it so you know I it's gonna be worlds better than what I had and we always managed to get my cattle loaded with that so I think it'll work fine I did put these cattle panels up just because they're gonna be the most pressured down here I figured if they're banging up against these outside corners I had these cattle panels laying around I might as well stick them up there that's gonna distribute their force right across everything and it should help keep them from going through the fence out into the yard so um, overall pretty fun project been a long time coming it's gonna really help us here get cattle on and off the trailer and um, make lives easier so I'll bring you guys along for sure the first time I load cattle here uh, I don't know if it'll be this fall or if it'll be in the spring but um, we'll see how it works together and uh, you guys uh, feel free to leave a comment in the um, comment section below let me know if you would have done anything different or how you like it. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.